All right. What did y'all think about his advice at the end where he said um, to date for at least a year so you can like see all the holidays and go through the whole year. You see how the person is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. no, I completely i had heard that before um is to go through at least you know every season twice so that's two mm-hmm. years mm-hmm. um so i always kind of took that as like a general rule and i completely agree you know you gotta even if you click at the very beginning like i said it's you know that kind of lovey-dovey honeymoon time you're happy um, but as time goes on, you're not always going to be happy. And so just going through all those seasons, I think, um, I definitely agree that, you know, it takes time to really find out if the, if the relationship is really, you know, if it's the one. <laughs> the one. Yeah. yeah. And you find out what's important to that person and what's important to, um, them. Especially, like, I no, I've never heard that, but, you know, after listening to him, I was like, wow, I could use this advice in my previous relationships. Like, that would have helped me a lot, (laughs) right? Um, But it makes so much sense because, you know, you're not just managing me and you. We're managing our family, what holidays we're going to spend with these people, you know, know, Christmas or what holidays we celebrate at all, right? Because we Mm -hmm. come from two different cultures. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, who do we go see this time around? Who do I introduce you to this to yeah. see if you work well with my family around this particular, you know, holiday mm-hmm. and, you know, yeah. things of that nature. So it's like, it helps, it helps you understand who you are and also understand who they are and yeah. how you all are together. Yeah. Right. Right. And I think like that um, time and also struggle really kind of helps us learn who we are and realize who we are because what's in you comes out yeah. when you're under pressure you know yeah so, yeah yep, it sure does yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah it really exactly. Does. so okay anything else stood out to you guys um i'm trying to re- it, the part where um, his family came and I can't remember if his mom or his dad drove around town. His dad. His dad. <laughs> can drove by himself, didn't know no where he was going. <laughs> he was pointing at the Big Mac on the McDonald's. Pointing menu. at the sign. Yeah. Yes. So funny. Yeah. I yeah. know. I thought. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. for me. Oh, um, oh sorry. <laughs> Were you? You gonna... go, no. Go. Oh, uh, I was just gonna say. I think for me personally, um, listening to uh, Saeed's side of the story about how he had grown up in Iran until he was seventeen, and then his whole world basically was you know, upside down when he came to America and he didn't really know all that great of English. He had to, you know, take some more classes. Um, And it was just really interesting, you know, hearing him talk about that and hearing how he still talks to his family, you know, a couple times a month, you know, through WhatsApp and, um, you know, different apps like that. Mm-hmm. And yes. for me personally, it made me kind of, um, like, happy and sad and nostalgic and everything because it re- actually reminds me of my parents mm-hmm. um, because they actually immigrated from the Philippines um, when they were, I think, early 20s. So they were kind of thrown upside down, too. They knew some English, and then they – my dad still, you know, is a little choppy on his English after living here for, you know, 24 years. And um, it was just kind of interesting hearing it from another, you know, dynamic because my parents, you know, they'll talk to their family in the Philippines, you know, a, co- a few times a month um, through WhatsApp and, you know, Facebook Messenger or something like that. And um, it was just kind of interesting to hear it from another, like, immigrant who you know, they don't necessarily have any other family here. And, you know, her family kind of, kind of had to become his family, um, too, you know, because he really didn't have anyone else here. Um, and then of course, 
you know, thinking about how they had to raise their kids from two different cultures. Yeah. It's like, I think we talked about it kind of towards the end of the, their video was, um, their kind of, uh, ethic as far as raising their children, you know, Mm -hmm. and how do they, you know, punish them and how do they reward them and just different things like that. And it kind of reminded me of like, my childhood too because you know my parents kind of had to figure out how to raise me in this american world when they grew up in the philippines and it's a third world country so it it was very very interesting and i really just enjoyed like listening to it and just watching them like i said their dynamic you know over the years i'm sure it's changed the the kenons that we met were definitely probably not the same kenons that you know fell in love and got married 35 years ago you know right. and it it's just so amazing to see how people can change um but in a in a marriage you know like that it it works well because they change together, you know, like you, like, um, like they said too, is just kind of watching that other person, watching their partner and seeing, you know, oh, well, you know, he's only able to give like this much and I I can help him out a little bit here. And then later on, you know, it's just kind of this give and take this balance and it's all about the communication and just watching and, and it's from earnestly, you know, loving that person. And it, it really was, like I said, goals. I mean, I can't really say it any more than that because (laughs) it's, it's just goals. Yeah. You like, you know, you hear them talk about how they manage their money and they'll use an envelope and, Mm -hmm. you know, saving, and this is what we have Mm -hmm. and we spend it. We don't, you know, we can't spend any more to next month. So it's like, you know, how they work together to manage because, you know, uh, the top reason for divorce is finances. Right. Mm-hmm. So to be able to work around that and set a plan and set yeah. a goal, you know, that is better for both of us to ensure that, you know, we're living the type of life that we want. It's, okay. it's a beautiful thing because not a lot of people are able to accomplish that, let alone by themselves. Right. right. And to do it with someone else. Mm-hmm. I can't even. <laughs> right? So uh, it, it's, it's just really really beautiful to sit and listen to them talk right. about from beginning to end the things that they endure the things that they went through and the things that they did together it and they stuck with each other from this you know his mom she's real into their um, religion to you know she have her parents here and they and she talked about it, you know, Southern back in the day, segregation. And, yeah. you know, she talked about those things. And now I am like, I grew up when, you know, segregation and schools were starting to yeah. combine and things of that nature only to end up marrying, right. you know, someone not even from here. Yeah. So it's like, it shows how she has grown individually. And the same thing with him. He came from a country and he said so himself, like, it was the la- like he was one of the last few people that was able yeah, to leave the country at right. that time, right. Right. right? right, and get here, and he still had that mindset. I can't afford this. Let me do my research and see where can I go. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely loved it. It was like not a lot of people would sit there and think. And I think about how fortunate I am, right? I right. don't. Really have family like you know born and raised in Mississippi family like as back as like long as I can count you know my mom my grandmother my great-grandparents here in America so I can't imagine imagine um moving to a whole completely different country and not understanding the culture and not understanding the language and and it, it's it's crazy it's like oh my god for him to come here and then he felt the love of his life within yeah. months like as soon as he yeah. got there like <laughs> like oh how many god. people can actually say that right so it's right. like you know it was uh, for me it was like oh wow this is fate it was yeah. fate like you originally ended up where massachusetts ended up only to come to mississippi and then you found the one that you was supposed to marry. Right. It, it was 
Like this is like a fairy tale story yeah. for me. They <laughs> should make a movie out of that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it was just it was beautiful I, it's, it, it like she said goals and it, it really did inspire me and to think about you know what I want and what I'm looking for mm-hmm. um, yeah. out of a person yeah. and mm-hmm. it, it makes you think when you look at other people marriages and their relationship and to see the struggle or you know so much that that they had to overcome it, it truly just makes you think about oh wow where am I and what I plan on doing with, you know, my life. And if I happen to meet, or even if I have a significant other, like, are we able and strong enough to endure things like that? Yeah. 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 Their story is definitely powerful. Um, and, you know, when I think about, think about Saeed and the things that he uh, went through to get here, like you said, he was on the last plane out at, he said he left the day of the election. So he was like the last plane out before the revolution started. Um, yeah. And the story of, and that's, it's the story of, of, of a lot of people from other countries. Um, like Julian, like you were saying, like your, your parents and, um, and then raising kids in a different culture, you know? Um, yeah. And I've, I've had the, the privilege of working with those families as well. Um, yeah it's it's uh it's cause for for um for respect um not everyone could go through that not everyone can go through that um there's a there's a power and a strength that comes out of someone to make that happen you know so yeah um it's very it's 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 admirable and it's respectable so um okay um if there are no other comments any other comments for no No. okay um i want to thank you guys for joining us and um, listening to our conversation about the conversation um again if you have any comments questions um anything that stood out to you feel free to leave those comments and we would love to start a conversation um on uh on facebook and um, also be looking out for our next video. We have already interviewed a second couple, and I think you will, uh, you'll love it. And, um, and um, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to, to, uh, to posting that video and getting your feedback on that as well. Um, have a great day, and thanks again. Bye. Okay.